Hi there, my name is Taylor Coplin, and in this video, I want to show you a really cool trick I learned not too long ago, actually, on how to save time making your layout views. Here we have a JDC1 in the, uh, I think it's in 62 channel mode, but regardless, you can control each individual cell here. And say, like, I'm working on a show file right now, okay? And I have four of these JDCs, and it would take a long time to align all this stuff, again, to be in this pattern or this arrangement. And there's a really cool method that's really quick and easy to take this and duplicate it across all of your fixtures of the same type. So I'm going to go ahead and clear out my programmer. Something that's really important to know, I have two groups that are important for this. I have this JDC right here, and that is just this one. And then I have another group that has the rest of my JDCs excluding this first one here. We need to use this, these two groups as a reference for this, okay? So it's only one command and it's pretty easy. So what we're going to say is uh, we're going to say clone, which you can either type out or you can hit copy twice. Okay. So we're going to say clone and then group. And then this is this one fixture is in group eight. So we're going to hit eight and then at group nine. Okay. And then now we're going to say if, okay, which I just typed out and now we're going to click on the layout view we want uh, the clone to happen to. So I have this example one here made. So I'm going to tap on four. You can see it inserts layout four here. Now you can hit please or enter. And it's going to come with this prompt. And you're going to see merge. And what you're going to see is, uh, you know, you can see a bunch of things stacked on top of each other here. So I can call it my JDCs, right? Uh, so I'll go into setup mode here and maybe zoom out just a smidge. So now uh, let's call out 402, which is my next JDC. And we'll move it on the X axis like so. And then I can do 411 is my next one. Move that over. And then we'll do 412. There we go. Now we have all these fixtures that are pixel mappable. And that only took us. 30 seconds and you know if you try to do this one by one it would probably take you 20 minutes to do these four lights if not more so i hope this saves you a bunch of time like i said you have to have your initial fixture that you want to do this method with in a group by itself and then the rest in a separate group excluding the first fixture you can see when i selected group nine here uh the first one is not selected if you select, if you have a, uh, say you had your one fixture here and you put them in a group that had all of your fixtures, it's going to mess up your arrangements. Uh, so keep that in mind. I hope this helps you. My name has been Taylor Coplin and I will see you on the next one.